Hello, this is Richard Digence here, welcoming you to the yellowcafe.co.uk, a website that invited me to give you a collection of mindfulness thoughts. Mindfulness is all about the brain. To lose yourself in a world that isn't necessarily as harsh as where you find yourself right now. And coming up to Christmas, I decided to call this collection In the Advent Of. Well, in the advent of what? Because that is a very, very good question. How are things going to change for us all in the future? The whole project comes from an NHS recommendation that 10 minutes a day of chill out mindfulness will help all of us get through this dreadful time in our lives. So, here is your 10 minutes, brought to you with my compliments, because I'm in the mood for 10 minutes of mindfulness myself. So why don't we just do it together? Seems like a good idea, doesn't it? Have a look up in the sky. You've done that millions of times before, haven't you? But this is slightly different. Just keep your eyes focused. Have a look up in the sky. It's quiet. It's peaceful. It's placid. Yeah, there's a few clouds rolling by. A few birds having a final sing before they fly off to a warmer climb. And there aren't many aeroplanes. That has been one of the disasters, if you wish to call it that, of 2020. Not many people travelling. The airline industry is really on its knees. Obviously it will recover, it will take time to recover. But, can we actually find any solace, any, any good at all, in what has happened? Not really. But maybe there is just one little glimmer. Because we're approaching Christmas, aren't we? Who comes through the sky at Christmas? Dodging aeroplanes. Father Christmas on his magical sleigh. So how does he do it? Every single year. All around the rooftops. In a sleigh pulled by just six deer. He flies like an aeroplane. So speedy through the sky. Calling in on every single house. He never passes one by. And then it's time to drop the presents. The first house of the night. Uh, of course, there will be a million more. A billion even. Maybe not, not quite. Now landing could be difficult on a sloping roof. So reindeer one and reindeer two each dig in a hoof. It's going to be a lot easier this year. The journey hasn't been so perilous dodging the aeroplanes. He made it safe and sound. So down he slid to the fireplace where he left the sack. And then he gave a quiet yo-ho-ho ho, before quickly climbing back. The amazing thing is, no one ever sees him. No one ever hears. It's been that way for years and years. And more years and years and years. Sometimes it's through a window, 
sometimes a back door. However he gets there, he'll never let a single child down. That's what his magic's for, and he is magical. Round and round the rooftops, in the middle of the night, weaving in and out of stars, then fading out of sight. Oh yes, he'd received so many letters from little girls and boys, written very neatly, their list of wanted games and toys. And then of course it's time for Santa to go home. Normally he'd be aware of flight paths, He'd be aware of flashing lights in the sky at night, thinking, oh, I must swerve to the left or swerve to the right. This year, sadly, of course, his journey will be safer. So maybe that is the glimmer of hope. Back home to Snowflake Mountain, all the letters had been read special notes from all the little ones sound asleep in their beds. So he knew what they all wanted, oh yes. What they wanted to make their dreams come true. There was no need for guessing. No, not him. Father Christmas knew. Onward travelled Santa Claus as quiet as a mouse to the address on every single letter and you know what he didn't miss one house yeah we all feel for the people in the airline industry we feel for travel agents and people in the hospitality sectors but the greatest airline of all the greatest hospitality sector of all, and the greatest travel agent of all, is Father Christmas. He's still around. He'll be with the children this year. So look up into that sky. There isn't much going on, is there? Very, very quiet. But soon, oh yes, the magic will begin. No one knows exactly how long it takes him to go all around the world, even how long it takes him to arrive to you from Lapland. But he does it. And he's magical. So yes, while we say good luck and send our love to those who have lost their jobs, their income, their houses, their hopes, their dreams. There's one man, just one man, who can keep certain hopes and dreams alive. And he's on his way through the sky. He is the magical airline, the magical estate agent, the magical king of hospitality. It's Father Christmas. Just take a final look. You won't see him flying through the sky. Oh no. It's only little ones with closed eyes that see Father Christmas. Isn't that wonderful mindfulness? Take care of yourselves. See you tomorrow. And together we are going to enjoy the next few weeks. Also equally happy to be part of it. And the video was produced by Charlie Murray. The music was uh, played by me, Richard Digence, in my studio in Salisbury. Always visit Yellow Cafe, there's always stuff going on there. It's fun, 
is uh, frivolity, lots of art, beautiful, beautiful art. So don't forget, pop in as and when you feel like it, theyellowcafe.co.uk. I will see you tomorrow. Keep safe and well and have nice thoughts. Bye-bye.